back to the All UV Cast channel where it's all UV all the time. Now, some of our followers and subscribers have been asking for a while as to why there is no coverage on our fantastic women's team. Well, we always listen to all of you and we'd like to support and do as much as we can to bring you the content that you want to see and hear about. So without further ado, I'm very, very happy to turn it over to my good friend and colleague, Lex, who's going to give you the breakdown. And she's now going to cover weekly recaps supporting the women's team because they have a fantastic program that's been excellent since its debut and uh, they deserve some respect and to be given some spotlight and we're going to do just that on the all uv cast so here's my friend lex hi everyone it's Deba alexa or lex from the all uv cast and i'm super excited to be introducing you all to the first video of a segment that we're going to be starting here where i will be showing weekly videos that'll be recapping highlights results and any type of um, content related to the Juventus women's team. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity for my team at All You Bay Cast as the women's team means so much to me truly. Um, growing up, I never had the opportunity to watch a women's team under the Juventus name. So the fact that they have a program now, a program as of 2017, one that's very successful, I'll add, uh, it's truly, it's truly an amazing, um, an amazing thing to be a part of, and I'm so happy to be providing you all content from that team and hopefully bringing some more supporters um, to also support our women's team because I think that they have a great thing going on over there. And so I'll give you a brief history about the team. Um, it was established in 2017, and they've won four Serie A titles one Coppa Italia title and three Super Coppa Italiana titles, the most recent coming just a few weeks ago against Milan. And they've also been very successful in the Champions League this year. And they actually qualified for the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time in their club history. And they'll be playing that game on March 23rd against Lyon. And to give you a bit of a background on their Champions League season this season so far, they actually were able to finish second in a very tough group, probably the toughest group of the Women's Champions League competition. And they actually beat Chelsea out for that second spot. And so Juve and Wolfsburg made it out of their group. And so it's also exciting for you to know that the Women's Champions League final is actually being hosted in Torino this year. So it would be awesome if on May 22nd, um, our women's team qualified for the final because then they would have a home game. But we'll have to see how they do on the March 23rd against Lyon. Lyon being probably one of the most successful women's team in Europe, given that I believe they have seven Champions League titles. So we'll see how we do against them. I've got faith in our Bianconere. So also to give you a bit of a background on how they've been doing so far this season, the women's team currently sit in first place of the Serie A standings with 37 points. There are six points above Roma and Sassuolo, who are both in second place or over off a tiebreaker, second place to Roma, third place to Sassuolo right now, but they're tied for points. And this weekend they play in the quarterfinal of the um, Women, Italian Women's Cup, which is the first leg of the quarterfinals, and that's Sunday, January 30th uh, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So be sure to check out that match. And to give you a bit of a recap, they played Fiorentina this past weekend, and they tied Fiorentina 2-2. Two to two. And it was an exciting match. Opening the game, the Bianconera had lots of chances early on. They were all over Fiorentina with um, fullback Amanda Nilden, a Swedish defender, narrowly missing the goal off a pass from Martina Rosucci. And then 13 minutes in, um, the Juventus goalkeeper had an error that gave the ball away to Fiorentina's player um, Valentina Giancinti, who scored in her debut game for Fiorentina on loan from Milan. And she hit a perfect strike um, to capitalize off of that mistake and took the lead. So when followed in the 32nd minute, a shot from Claudia Neto ricocheted off of our center back, Sarah Gama, and resulted in a 2-0 lead for Fiorentina, which is unheard of for the uh, Juventus women to be down, but let alone by two goals, especially in the first half. However, in the final minutes of that crazy first half, our midfielder, 
Valentina Chernoya scored an absolutely beautiful shot. Um, I reposted it on my Twitter. You can go find it there. Um, an absolutely beautiful shot that from the top of the 18 yard box, I brought the score line to two one shortly before the end of the first half. So you can definitely check that out there. Um, and so the Bianconere dominated the second half as well. And however, in the 57th minute off of a great cross into the area from Andrea Stasakova, it was volleyed into the goal by the one and only Ariana Caruso to bring the game to two to two. So they, and after some close chances from Bonasea and um, Bonfantini who combined in the 82nd minute, they nearly got a third goal off of that. However, in the end, the match did end two to two. And this was actually their first non-win since February, 2020. So the women had been on a 36 consecutive league match win streak prior to Saturday's game and um, which is absolutely incredible and luckily they were able to maintain their 53 league game um, unbeaten streak so although they lost the win streak with that tie they were able to maintain the unbeaten streak for their results in the league and just incredible stuff from our women's program that's been running so strongly since um, it was established and uh, that was a recap of their game from this weekend, and you can be sure to check out more of their game. Um, highlights are available on the FIGC Feminile Calcio YouTube channel. That's where you can find them there. All of their games also are available to be streamed on Diazian Italia and also on the Juventus TV. If you subscribe there, you can catch all of their games. And their Champions League games, however, is also available to pretty much most areas on the UWCL YouTube channel. So you can find that on um, for all of their Champions League games. So um, I was thinking every week that I'm going to be giving a player a feature. So I'll be featuring one player a week, uh, give you a bit of a history of their career, their background, where they're from, and some interesting facts about them, their position, Etc. That way um, we can all learn the team a bit more and get to know our Bianconere women a bit better. And that's it for now for a bit of a recap of their games. Be sure to try and check out their game versus Inter this weekend. Um, I'm beyond excited to be doing this segment and I hope you guys all look forward to seeing me weekly with this video and I hope that this brings some more support and some more awareness to our women's program, which is just incredible. And I'm super excited and I'm grateful to the All Juve cast. Again, reminder, make sure you subscribe to the All Juve cast on YouTube. Make sure that you like this video and you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Um, we do awesome work there. My team is just incredible. And also make sure to check out the Striped Hearts Apparel sponsor um they are an awesome sponsor they just came out with some vlavich t-shirts and that was the exciting news from today but that's it for that for now everyone so i look forward to seeing you after the um the cup game this this weekend and i'll be giving you updates on that and i'm very excited for it so i'll talk to everyone soon thank you